Hello, fellow noobsters, this is iGamingNoobster, and welcome back to a possibly new series called Is It Obsolete? Um, if you guys know 8-Bit Guy, he, does a, he did a couple of these videos and I really love them. And I have some obsolete stuff in my room, and I wanted to see if it actually was obsolete. Now today's episode... Plug it. Is the Sony? I know how to use this. It's just there. We go. It. We have the Sony D. S C H one. Now this was one of the top. This was one of the top cameras built in like 2005, I believe. I'm um, just say on here, but around 2005. Now this thing has a lot of cons and a lot of pros. Now, um, first of all, let's just get on with like what it can do. Um, it's you know it has like you know that thing. You got this thing. You can take this thing off right here. Put in a new lens, but it's hard to put back on, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, it has one of these like flip up lights. Mm hmm. You got one of these things. But yeah, um, this is an older model, obviously, it's 2005. Now, um, later on, I'm gonna put up some pictures between my personal camera. Samsung S6, which has 16 megapixels, versus this 5.1 megapixel. Um, but this actually is really good. Now let's just go with the pros. Pros are it has a nice screen right here, so you can see what you do. But it also has this viewfinder, which basically you'll put your eye through it. It goes through. It does the same thing as this, but it's smaller and it goes up to your eye, so you can get more precise shots. So, and it has like a focus adjuster, so if you have a different like mine, since I wear glasses, I have to take these off and change it to my focus, or keep these on and then change it to my focus again. And then I can just take a precise photo. Mm, okay. Um, another thing is you can add like some really cool um, um, lenses onto this, so you can have one that you can make this into a telescope if you get a good enough lens and like keep on attaching. It has buttons. It's really good. I mean. On a phone like this, you accidentally press a button, boom, you take a picture, you're like, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Here, you can hold it down to get it to steady, or to like get the light on, and then you click in and it takes a photo. Now, obviously, this is old, so it's not going to have great video quality, and there's a problem. I couldn't actually record a video and get it onto here at the moment, but I can do that in a I will try and get that video to work. If it does, okay. If it don't, okay. Um, but yeah, um, now let's go over to the cons. There is a lot of cons. Okay, first con, it uses rechargeable batteries. And it can't be like those high-powered ones, like the ones I have on my Nerf gun, the 3.6 volts. It has to be a 1.2 volt battery, or it'll, else it will not work. If you put in the, like, nowadays batteries that are like, what, 1.5 or 1.6 volts, you, you can't put it in here. It's not gonna work. Like, it will work for a couple, like a minute or two, and then just shut off. But if you have these, and you put them in there, you know, charge them up, put them in there, they'll last a good time. Uh, like, maybe 30 minutes, if you're lucky. Second. Second con. It uses these old-fashioned memory sticks. And nowadays we're using micro SD cards, as you probably you probably can't see here. Micro SD card. Now look at the size difference. Much bigger. And then, yes, yeah, so there's some cards that use uh, just a SD card, but still look at the difference in size. It's like half the size. It's a little wider, but I mean, this is laptop RAM. It's a it's like close to being as big as a laptop RAM. Laptop RAM is not very small. It's about half the size of a regular desktop RAM. Um, okay. Another con. It's heavy. Like, it's a couple pounds, like, heavy. 
Um, you know, another con, obviously, doesn't have the best quality of video. Now, pictures, that's another story. That's a pro. It has some of the nicest looking pictures ever until you get to full zoom. Now, I mean, I now uh, later in the video I'll put two I'll put some pictures up between this phone at eight times digital zoom and then this at eight times optical zoom. Now the difference between digital and optical optical is an actual is an actual like lens that goes in and out and actually makes a photo. Optic. So basically it's kind of like if our eyes could like zoom, that's what this would see. Digital is man-made picture so okay sorry for the quick cut but yes digital is man-made which means when it zooms in it's basically remaking it the photo and it's not gonna make it near as good so but yeah um that's about it basically on it um um it can accept the tripod which is always nice um really about it. It has dedicated zoom buttons which is really useful versus like <clears throat> on a phone. Yeah. Got a good flash feature too. Okay so uh, after me, after the myth, after this, uh, you'll see some photos differencing and a video possibly video be differencing the, between the two. So.